All right, Coach, you guys are cruising through uh, spring ball here. Just want to get your thoughts on how it's going and, and where it's going here. Yeah, just finished practice number eight. Uh, really pleased with the progress that we've made so far. I think we've taken a step each and every day to get better, which is one of our goals. One of our goals before we started spring was to maximize each spring practice. You only get 15, um, and I think that we've done that, so I've been really proud of that. Today was a lot of really good situational work. We worked two minute into the half stuff, into the game, uh, and some things to clean up, but as you would expect, uh, first time working. Anything that has surprised you so far has been a surprise that has pleased you? Um, I've been really pleasantly surprised with um, the energy and juice that the guys, the buy-in, uh, just as a, as a whole. I mean, I, we've got a great group of guys, uh, but change is always hard, and they're trying to learn a different standard and our standard and how we're going to practice, and the tempo is a little bit different, but the buy-in uh, and their willingness to want to come to work every single day and get better has been excellent, so that's been a, a great, pleasant surprise. Uh, you talk about um, you know just them buying in their 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 fight. I guess you could say you almost got caught up you know trying to break up some guys earlier. I mean just talk about you know that that intensity more of you know these guys again. It's it's spring ball, not even full pads, and you know just scrapping all the way. Yeah, I, I love the fight from you know each group, and that's what I told the guys. I mean you know we had a little skirmish and. Look, the best teams that I've been on, especially when the offense has got a lot of pride and defense has got a lot of pride as well, there's going to be days where you get in the middle of whether it's training camp or spring ball and you're tired of hearing it from the other side. And so um, the best teams that I've been on have always had that. They've had an edge, but they've known when to back off. And so, you know, and that's really what I told our group. I said, look, I said, you know, it's just like a family or a brotherhood. You fight with your brothers. I mean, that's even your, you know, your blood brothers. And so, you know, the the, the fact that you know you're not always going to agree or, or you're going to disagree and have some skirmishes is great. We've got to have an edge, but at the end of the day, we, we can't let it bleed over into another period and become, you know, a full team, you know, or divide the locker room. Uh, in looking at uh, just how you know things were being run today, um, just a lot of quick movement, a lot of tempo for you guys. Is that was that just today's emphasis overall spring? Just kind of how you're looking to run things here? Yeah, we're going to play fast and physical, and everything that we do. Uh, you can see the tempo on offense that we want to play with. Uh, it causes the defense to have to play with tempo and make communicate quickly, and so that's how we're going to play. In, in looking at um, just the way you guys have really been able to instill that again, I mean, a lot of just it looked like a lot of almost like two minute drill situations, um, you know, just going through those, getting those reps, you know, maybe just that muscle memory, drilling it in from what you've seen for guys in, in running that. What really sort of impresses you most? What do you think these guys really might need a little more work on? Yeah, um, we need work on all things right now. I mean, you know, and, and that's what spring ball is for. It's really to sharpen the skill set and perfect our craft. Um, been really pleased with the tempo and pace that we're playing at. I think one of the things that's hard when you play with tempo and you play fast is, you, we, and I told the guys this, we want to play fast but not be in a hurry. And I think at times we're rushing ourselves, whether it be pre-snap or even post-snap, and that causes you to either make errors or, you know, missed assignments. And so we've got to play with ourselves and just let the game come to us and uh, sort of seeing um, again just, just the way um, sorry completely lost my train of thought here oh um, another one for you you were making I don't know about like a, a million different laps today if you've got a pedometer on I mean how many steps are you taking like are you burning through these sneakers like like every other practice or something you know it's funny I've been asked that uh, several times after the last couple of practices um, it, it, I actually checked that after last practice. I think it was almost five miles that I walked during practice. Um, I can't remember how many steps I was. I think 19,000 or something. So, yeah, I'm going through the soles pretty quickly. But that's how I'm wired. I can't sit still. Uh, and I really just want to, you know, see every drill. So from drill to drill, really, you know, one, to get to know the guys. I think it's great for me to be around each drill and see and get to know each guy, you know, and, and each one of the different position groups. But then also the coaches, you know, we're new as a staff. And I want to make sure that, you know, I'm around each each staff member as well. A lot of guys you're trying to see, a lot of drills you're trying to watch. Any guys, and again, I know it's still spring, I know you've got the rest of this uh, season and then fall camp as well, but any guys who might have kind of stood out to you where as you were first getting into spring, they weren't really sticking out maybe on paper or previous tape and this spring it, it's really starting to show? Yeah, um, I've been really pleased with our offensive line, how they've come together as a unit. I think that um, they, they have really gelled together. I think Coach Mendelson's done an excellent job getting those guys, teaching one our offense, but then a new, new techniques and some fundamental stuff. Um, and they've done a really nice job, one protecting the quarterback, but then being physical. I mean, on, on defense, um, you know, we, we've got probably more experience on defense than, than we've had. Uh, but 
you know, Boone Bonama, Damari Roberson, two guys that are leaders, and we've really challenged to, to step up even more um, and really lead the group. They've done a really nice job. Kanai is in that group as well. He's been really competitive. Um, and then I've been pleased with the wideout group as well. They've been they've competed. And looking at uh, Kanai in that secondary, um, I know he's one of the primary returners. And uh, just sort of seeing, you know, maybe a lot of guys finally getting that chance because they had a couple, you know, senior members on that team. Um, just sort of what you've seen maybe from the secondary that, you know, again, hopefully a, a, a nice thing for you guys to kind of build on going into the fall. Yeah, we've got to continue to gel and find what guys do well and be able to put them in the right positions. And as a coaching staff, that's really what I've challenged our coaches with is, is this is an evaluation time for us during spring. Um, we're getting a lot of different things, new things taught. Uh, and we want to be able to evaluate what our guys do well and be able to put them in positions to succeed on Saturdays. All right, Jacob, uh, you've got a, a bunch of spring practices under your belt. Uh, cruising through spring practice here at Western Michigan. Uh, how's it going for you? Uh, it's going it's going really really well right now. Uh, I haven't been doing as much. I'm coming off of a, a season in, in injury, so I, I've pretty much just been like coaching up the guys, being a player coach, and I've been doing a lot of individual drills. But it's great to see these guys come out here, and it's great to see how Coach Taylor's uh, leading the team. So it's been great so far. How do you feel about your unit on the, on the offensive line and how they've uh, performed so far? Uh, we actually we have a lot of young guys and. We kind of have a lack of depth right now. We got a couple guys down, but um, it's great. It's great to see the mentality those guys bring every single day. You know, we we, we try to come come in and try try to be the best unit on the field every every single play. And uh, you know, it's, I just love watching those guys. What do you like about the new coaching staff so far with uh, Coach Lance Taylor and everybody else? Uh, they're intense, and they, they don't they don't take any uh, they don't take any stupid stuff. You know, like I, I would just say like biggest word is intense, and I love it so. And looking at uh, a lot of the way that you guys were practicing today, just a lot of tempo. I mean, has that been the focus all spring? Is that something this new coaching staff has really been trying to emphasize? Is just tempo, tempo, tempo? Yeah. Uh, so when Coach Gosh came in and Coach Taylor, they wanted they wanted to really emphasize playing fast and physical, and that, that's been that's been our offense's M, M, like mo, like getting to the ball, a lot of a lot of plays. We're probably gonna run 80, 90, 100 plays this year, so it's, it's been really fun. I know you mentioned that you guys, um, you know, you're trying to do a lot of uh, a lot of movement right now. You know, you kind of being down, a couple of guys being down. But again, from what you've seen as a leader of this offensive line, uh, just guys being able to move around and, and pieces kind of fitting into place. What have you really seen, you know, from that unit? Uh, so having, having versatility as an offensive line is, is one is one of the biggest attributes you can have. It's one of the most sought after, and I think our, our the Western Michigan off, offensive line, like we're, we we can play all five positions and. You know, like we don't, we're not, we're not excelling at any 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 certain position right now, but um, we're working there. We're, we're getting better each day. So, I know that again, you guys still have the rest of spring. You still have fall to kind of get that figured out. And I know you guys would, I'm sure, love to have like a, a steady five throughout the season. But um, just kind of for where this group is, you know, again, you're just talking about guys, just kind of working around, kind of figuring things out. Just sort of this growth this spring, what you've really seen from from your unit. Uh, the one thing I've loved, well, I don't know if you guys saw it earlier, but the mentality they just bring, like, like you know, if someone, someone falls on the ground, someone touches Jack or Trayson, like, they don't take any crap. Like, they, they're going to get in there, they're going to get in their faces. Like, even though it's our teammates, like, we love those guys, like, we're not going to take any, any crap this year. So it's been awesome to see. Now, I know you guys have uh, a couple different, a uh, couple new weapons in the backfield. Um, uh, number three and 29, Jalen and CJ. Yeah. Um, really exciting. I mean, I, you know, I know there, there's a lot more factors, but just from what you guys have seen from them, um, you know, a couple of them even just banging through you guys, you know, get extra yardage. What really excites you about, you know, maybe run blocking for a couple guys like that this year? Uh, all those guys are explosive. You know, like, I don't know, I don't know what, the, what they're depth chart or if there even is a depth chart right now for them but they're all explosive they all can play you know cj he, he should be getting ready for prom here in like a, couple, like a month and he's he's made, out here breaking 60 yard runs and it's been awesome to see bucks run over dude so it's been great to see all right can i you guys are uh, rolling through spring ball here how's it going for you guys uh, so far it's going good um we got the new coaches coming in and we just all buying in and everybody coming together so for that it's looking all pretty much good right now what's your favorite thing about the new coaching staff in, in lt um, pretty, it's the energy, um, the effort, and the want to. Like every day, he get all of us going and get ready to prepare every day for practice. So just the energy and the uh, enthusiasm for everybody that he bring into our all of us. So it seemed real good so far. Looks like you got a new number. What, what, what's the decision behind that? Uh, this is what I started off with, literally. So I had to come back to it for the last one.
and looking at um, just the way you guys have been playing, uh, a lot of tempo, I mean, in practice, and, you know, a lot of offensive plays, but you guys as a defense are trying to keep up and everything. Just talk to me about tempo. I know coaches have really been focusing on that and how you guys have really tried adjusting to it. Um, I feel like it's the best thing that we could have brought to it because defensively, once it, if it come in the game, we'll be prepared. So I say preparation and just the fast pace, just keeping us on our toes. And with that, um, it's just keeping everybody needing to know what they need to do, moving at a fast pace. So it's just good. It's been good so far. I know, again, it's it's a lot of you guys, you know, trying to keep up with it. But again, you know, that whole iron sharpens iron, you're working on it now during uh, practice. But I mean, after seeing, you know, last season, again, some teams, they really tried to take it to you guys quick. Was it almost a sigh of relief to, again, have this kind of tempo where you're like, oh, man, like this will be great. Like we will be ready for games. Yeah, knowing that we do it in practice and knowing how it can become in the game, knowing that we're preparing for it now is awesome. So I know later on down the road, if any team come throughout the season trying to hit us with tempo, I feel like we'll be way prepared than we ever been before. In looking at um, uh, just the secondary, I mean, I know you're you're one of the bigger names of the group coming back. Lost some guys, you know, a lot of seniority, a lot of years of experience. Uh, for you guys in that secondary, what have you really been trying to do with a, a bit of a younger group, you know, to maybe bring some of the guys along? Um, just get everybody on the same page, pretty much uh, communication. Make sure that everybody on the back end knowing what's going on. Um, no matter the age, young or old, as long as we out there on the same page knowing what's going on, I feel like we'll be fine. So we're just getting that all uh, under control right now. And from what you have seen, you know, from from you, just from that positional group, that secondary group as a whole, uh, what's what's kind of impressed you the most? What are some things that you guys maybe you think you, this group may need to uh, still kind of refine a bit throughout the spring? Um, I just say if something going bad, we just got to focus on how to um, overcome it. Uh, just keep going the next play, and as long as we keep that mindset, the next play you, you can still win. So that's all that matters. I saw they kept sticking you with a Kavion. It was like four inches taller than everybody out here at all times. I mean, what what kind of a challenge is that for you, Neil, going through spring ball like this? Um, it's good. We've been going back and forth battles um, all spring ball. Um, we're going to make each other better. And that was the plan before spring ball to continue to make each, um, make each other better. And we're going to continue to make each other better. So me and him are going to keep going at it all spring. And even after spring, we're going to keep making sure we stay on each other. And so, uh, Coach, making a lot of different rounds, you know, LT. I mean, he's just, he, he's out here. He's moving all the time. Uh, if you had to put a guess on it, I mean, how many steps you think he's out here taking or how many miles you think he's walking at a single practice? Probably like 2,000, 3,000 steps. <laughs> He'd be moving around on everybody behind. Uh, and I love it, uh, making sure everybody on their cues. As soon as you get to slacking around, he's getting you right back on your toes. So I love it.